Welcome back to Automation, the car company tech kingdom. Everybody, today we're making a cheap convertible with this body, as you can see here. Kind of going to be largely based on the Volkswagen Golf, uh, Cabriolet, EUDM, all that stuff, right? Um, basically, as you can see, it's a, a small hatchback body. I'm going to be maybe two like five seater four seater something like that small and cheap is the goal the year is 99 um, and because that's the year in which this car is going to be made and we can start off here I'm probably just gonna go steel panel material this thing is gonna be extremely small um, I should be called treated steel let's go fancy um, it, it doesn't matter if it's if the body material is heavy it's gonna be light anyways because it's small so corrosion resistant steel yeah let's make it high quality like that um, you know, we need to give people a reason to actually buy this. And it's not American, so it's not going to rot away immediately. Uh, front longitudinal, right? What else would you do? And probably a McPherson strut and a torsion beam. That seems logical right now. Uh, so I guess we could put in a three cylinder or a four cylinder. And let's just go for maybe a small 1.3 liter four cylinder. I think that would be pretty reasonable. Um, there we go. Make it up a little bit more. And then let's make it a one point three there we go perfect that's how I like it very nice um, aluminum head material yeah sure this is gonna be actually a pretty nice car I was planning on making this really cheap not gonna be as cheap as I thought then but oh well that's fine I suppose everything cast for now don't think we'll need uh, very good stuff here um, probably touch that later definitely uh, just gonna be naturally aspirated um, I think we are going to go injection. Oh, we're just going to go maybe multi point EFI and then single. It is 99. Uh, standard mid, and then maybe decrease the size a little. I'm just going to run it on regular fuel, right? There's no reason to do otherwise. And we wanted to have pretty good fuel economy. It's already going to have pretty good fuel economy because, you know, it's going to be a really light car. However,. We need it to have really pretty good fuel economy. Right, because otherwise no one's ever going to want to buy this. Um, no catalytic converter, maybe two-way or something. Yes, fair enough. Okay. Uh, then let's uh, move on here to the drivetrain. Front-wheel drive, obviously. I mean, what else? Um, a manual... Yeah, I think we could put a five-speed in this. How much horsepower has it got? 67. <laughs> okay, maybe maybe that's a bit much then. Um... I'm not sure which type of thing I wanted to have. Probably it's gonna. I want to have, have less than a hundred. Um, oh, I'm not sure actually. Yeah, I think we'll go for something like maybe maximum eighty. In this, actually, it's light. Maybe the seventy-five. So, you know, five speed is a lot. We'll just have an overdrive gear for the fuel economy, right? There we go. One really high spacing there. Uh, we can go viscous plus D. Um, let's see then what else uh, good radial tires right just gonna go probably a hard long life I think that makes sense what is the recommended width 161 that sounds pretty reasonable yeah let's go 160s front and rear it would be cool if I could keep them square uh, and the wheel size there actually looks pretty good okay so sonic disc one piston we don't we don't need great brakes on this We'll make it a little bit larger though there. And then we can probably just put drums in the rear to be honest. Then like how good are the brakes you'll need in the rear actually? How how good do they actually need to be? I think I think we can just get away with putting drums there. Although it is nineteen ninety nine. Um maybe, maybe, maybe. Oh well. Uh let's uh, move on. We're gonna probably just have a manual soft top on this thing. Don't really see it making sense, anything else. Two reduced size seats is apparently the most we can fit back there, which actually kind of makes sense. So that's fair enough. Basic interior, and we will give them a CD player as well. A basic one, though. Uh, we can give it power steering. I think that deserves that. We'll give it ABS because we don't, we don't want to die in this thing. Uh, standard safety. That's going to add a lot of weight, though, but when it can be kind of realistic, you know. Probably this progressive gas monotube semi active. Pretty nice suspension setup there, actually. And uh, looking pretty good. Maybe we want a bit more ground clearance. That's a bit better, I think. 
So we can have some nice suspension travel. Let's just change that to normal. And then it's going to raise it up again. Yeah, that's it. There we go. Beautiful. This is looking pretty good. What are these statistics right now? So it's going to cost you 12 grand in 2012 US dollars. That is pretty nice. Um, the fuel economy is trash. 10 liters per 100 kilometers. Is that like maybe I've got no idea how much miles per gallon that is. It is terrible anyways. Um, so yeah, anyways, um, I guess we can start designing this thing. And you know, whilst we're at it, I might as well make a few variants because this body has a bunch of different types of things, which is pretty cool. And here in front of us, we have the Guinea G12 Mark II Cabriolet. Um, as you can see, heavily based on the Golf one, but that's fine, right? Um, yeah, it's really heavily inspired, as they say. Uh, as you can see, we got these nice plastic wheels here. Um, it's a light gray. However, it looks kind of weird because it's almost the same color as the background. Um, basically that as you can see um the most seats we could fit in here was two reduced size seats however um i thought that was kind of stupid so i went ahead and added i guess you would call this a reduced size bench right um i think that that's what i would have also liked to put in here and um, then just two seats in the front as you can see did i was kind of forced to make somewhat of an interior because i wanted to make the roof open like this um, I could have done this better probably as well. Um, oh well, got the bumper bars there. And this is what the rear looks like. I'm pretty fond of this thing. I really like it. I think it looks pretty cute. And um, it would be probably pretty fun to drive as well. Um, as you can see, it still costs just about the same as it did. Fuel economy has improved um, significantly. It's still not great though. Um, so, yeah. And here's the variant with the uh, with the roof closed. As you can see, we ended up getting a 72.6 horsepower, which uh, that that's that that's okay, right? And how much does this thing actually weigh? Let's take a look. It weighs 1,200 kilograms, which is 2,500 pounds or something. So that's 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 it's actually whoa, that's actually kind of heavy. Okay, <laughs> I might I expected this thing to be a lot lighter than that. Um. That's fine. We don't really need it to be fast, do we? I did say I was going to make a few more variants whilst I was at it. And here we have one. This is the um, Guinea G12 Mark II Cabriolet S. Basically, it's a black version. Um, it's more sporty as well. Um, and we chose for the color black here because it kind of... It, it, it fits in with, the, with these bumpers here, which makes them stand out less. Um, so that's pretty cool. As you can see, we even have a fancy thing over here. Not sure why. 
we have this, but I think it looks pretty cool. Um, for the rest, the actual the actual, the actual looks are the same, apart from this red thing around here, which I mean, I don't know. It it look it looks acceptable. Um, we have five more horsepower, um, which of course is perfect. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty sure it's also that's that's like the only thing. Oh, and it's got wider wheels as well. Yep, that's right. Basically, it's not that much different. But it does give people a bit more of a reason to buy this. I mean, you can buy it for 3000 extra dollars. Why wouldn't you? Right? Of course you want that. And I was looking through all the bodies, and I also saw a Ute one. Now, I'm not sure why this um, vehicle, which is supposedly German, right? Because it's literally a Volkswagen, um, would really have a Ute variant. Um, because we're not in Australia, but I do kind of like it. Um, it looks pretty cool, to be honest. Uh, quite a fan of this. It's, it's just a really cheap little ute here, and it's just the exact same as the other ones. However, this one is a two-seater. As you can see, it's no seats in the back, and it's literally a ute body. For the rest, it's the same as the base model, um, cabriolet, just that version. <laughs> so, not a lot changed here. But, you know, I do kind of like it. Also, for some reason, this one gets way better fuel economy. I think because the it's lighter or something because it has a bed. Although it is longer, I honestly do not know. Anyways, enough chatting from me, I suppose. Let's import this thing into BMG Drive. And here we have the, um, whatever I actually called this. The Guinea something Mark II Cabriolet. The Guinea G12, that's it. Right over here, here we have the, uh, the um, you know, the soft top version, and here we have the Ute version. And honestly, even though it, w it wasn't even the point of this video to make the Ute, and this car was the point of the video, I think the Ute looks better. Um, mainly because we have a bit of a long wheelbase here, um, especially for this thing being a one-door. I could have probably used a slightly smaller wheelbase on this thing, um, and then probably a bit more rear and front overhang. Um, as you can see on the Ute, it looks a lot better. Um, here the wheelbase just looks kind of weirdly long. Um, anyways, that's fine I suppose. We can drive this thing. And not sure why we have ESC here. I didn't... We didn't, we didn't have any ESC. And we can't turn it off. That's goofy. Oh well, as you can see, it's definitely not the fastest thing in the world. But that also wasn't the point of this car, really. It is quite loud and it sounds a bit different than I might have expected it to. Um, it also feels kind of wide to be honest but that's fine. Um, as you can see, you know honestly it, 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 does, it isn't that fast but it still can uh, hit some decent speed here and keep in mind this also isn't the sport model or anything. Um, it handles really well, the cornering is great um, it's not as light as I might have ex wanted it to be, or expected it to be, and that definitely does, you definitely feel that whilst driving. Um, it feels a little heavy for what the car is, um, but that's fine. It's not that big of a problem. Um, you know, it's uh, definitely pretty nice to drive. Anyways, we can um, probably just stop this thing right here and switch over to the Ute version. Now, this one is quite a lot lighter surprisingly enough um, probably just due to the bed I think it's about 300 kilograms which is like 800 pounds lighter is that 800 pounds I'm not sure if it's actually 800 pounds oh well um, anyways this one drives pretty nicely as well as you can see not that fast but you don't really need it to be fast if it's cheap right um, it's uh, you know you buy it for a reason and not all cars are supposed to be fast, uh, which is something I'm happy with. You know, sometimes in automation, I think I feel like we go a little bit too crazy on stuff. Um, and I, I really like this thing. I really like the way it drives, really like the design as well. Uh, so I'm pretty... I think we lost a part of the bumper. Oh, yep, we did. <laughs> um, anyways... That is basically how this drives. You know, it's not the most exciting thing ever, but I definitely do like it really much. We're going to go onto the automation test track now. 
And here we are on the automation test track with, of course, the sport version. And we're going to see how this thing drives. Um, yep, as, as, as we saw before, they're not the fastest. However, I don't think our time should be that bad. I'd be happy if we get under three minutes with this. Um, you know, stuff like the steering here, as you can see, is really pretty good. Um, it's just incredibly slow. Okay, it's slower than I thought it would be, to be honest. Um, yeah, this is probably gonna take a while. I could have definitely made this version more sporty. It's, this, this version is kind of a scam, to be honest. Um, oh well. Anyways, as I have been saying though, it's very fun to drive. You guys can actually download this thing as well through my Discord server, which is linked in the description. Even if you don't want to download it, you can still join anyways. Basically, through my Discord, you can download every single car I've ever made, which is pretty cool. So, that. Also, I'm still not sure why we have the ESC here. Um, I definitely did not add that. We only had ABS, which I guess kind of makes sense for the year it was made. It just doesn't look like the year it was made. Oh, well. Um, we are... At least, though, reaching a kind of decent speed up here on the straight. 150 kilometers per hour, 160, 170 is definitely not something you want to be doing in this thing in real life. Um, as you can see, we are losing control here a little bit. I can probably regain that, though. He says, um, yeah, look, wasn't too bad, wasn't too bad. It revs really, really slow. Um, I guess that's just gearbox issues, right? Um, anyways, it is definitely pretty fun to drive, it's just not fast. I should have probably just made a more sporty version than this. Yeah, I could have definitely given this thing about 15 more horsepower. But you know, the goal here wasn't necessarily to make a race car, so... Uh, this is what we're left with, right? Didn't get under 3 minutes, sadly, which is too bad. Um, but still, did we get the worst time we've ever gotten? No, we didn't. What did we beat? We beat the Gavril Romer. And what did we lose to? The Murata DH Karlik, which I'm not even sure what that was anymore. <laughs> oh well. Um, either way, guys, thank you ever so much uh, for watching. I really hope you did enjoy um, this, I guess, more realistic build than usual. Um, let me know... You know, because we did this now, this more realistic build, we can go absolutely ham on the next one. Uh, let me know what you'd like to see in the comments. No guarantees that I'll actually fulfill your request, though. Sorry. Um, <laughs> anyways, thank you ever so much for watching, and I really hope to see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.